हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदा दीप आई हॉस्पिटल पी जी इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अ केस ऑफ स्मॉल पीपल एंड विल डिस्कस विच मेथड यू विल यूज वेदर वी शुड यूज स्ट्रेच पीपल ऑफ प्लास्टिक विच इज़ कन्वेंशनल मेथड और यूज न्यूअर एक्सपांडर्स सो दिस इज सिक्सटी ईयर ओल्ड लेडी केम फॉर राइट आई कैट्रैक्ट सर्जरी फेलो आई हैज़ बीन ऑपरेटेड एल्सवेयर एंड मल्टी फोकल हैज़ बीन इम्प्लांटेड एंड पेशेंट हैज़ lot of intolerance to bright light and patient thought it was because of the multifocal but when i examine the patient you can see the reason for intolerance to bright light is the dilated poorly reacting pupil possibly because of stretch pupilloplasty was tried during the surgery of the other eye and sphincter tears led to this dilated fixed pupil so i convinced the patient to go ahead with uh, multifocal in the other eye and we'll take care of the previously operated eye if needed after this eye has underwent surgery and if patient is still symptomatic so patient has blue iris you can see here and uh, these uh, kind of iris is uh, thin and if you use stretch pupilloplasty for such iris then it may lead to sphincter tears and particularly for cases where you want uh, the pupil to be reactive afterwards like in cases where you want to implant the trifocal or multifocal eye wells uh, you don't want to do the stretch pupilloplasty you can do mini sphincterotomies if you want but i think nowadays it's the best way to use is a pupil expansion device and for me the choice is b hex ring because it is very gentle to the iris and doesn't lead to any trauma to the sphincters this is the specially designed forceps 23 gauge forceps for putting this uh, b hex in you can see the two flanges are already under the iris and the third flange i put it under the incision using the side port and then we can center this ring it gives you dilatation of around 5.5 mm and which is more than enough and we know that the pupil is not going to become smaller during the surgery so this much of stretch on the pupil is quite enough for the surgery and it is not going to cause any sphincter damage which i am sure of the patient has a slightly shallow anterior chamber and you can you have seen that there was some pseudo exfoliation as well surgery went uh, uneventfully the pupil expansion device helps you in ease of the surgery the other methods of uh, doing pupil expansion of sphincterotomy or stretch pupilloplasty can be done in special cases but i think with these kind of devices available to us and at reasonable cost i think patient should get benefit of these devices so whenever required i think it's better to keep these devices handy in your ot and the uh, technique of using this is quite simple there are many instructional videos available so any surgeon can get this technique right right from the first surgery itself this kind of light iris is relatively rare in indian scenario but whenever you have a patient with this kind of light iris you have to be more careful uh, with the iris you don't want to traumatize the iris because uh, unlike the dark iris patients with these kind of iris the pupil dark pupil is visible and if it is uh, disfigured then it is also visible the removal of b hex is quite easy you have to first disengage it fr from the iris and then gently pull it out you can see that uh, there is no damage to pupil after removal also there is some pigment release because of the pupil rough where we are putting the b hex ring but otherwise the pupil looks quite healthy trifocal il is inside uh, to take care of the against the rule astigmatism of around 0.75 diopters i enlarged the incision little bit so these kind of small modifications will improve your trifocal il results so anterior chamber is well stable that's the end of the surgery and post operatively you can see nicely reactive pupil of good size 
and as compared to the other eye definitely patient has much better quality of vision uh, binocularly patient is quite happy so I'm going to leave the other eye as it is but otherwise I could have done a pupilloplasty for the other eye so for more such videos you can visit our website and do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you